Not only has it been a pretty soggy past 24 hours, but overall we're trending very far above average for our rainfall. A lot of our area is hitting close or above 20 inches of rain just in the past about four and a half months or so. Uh, Paducah Carbondale both trending six inches above average. Poplar Bluff seven and a half nearly above average as far as rainfall goes. Some of us getting about halfway to what we'd expect for the entire year as far as rain as far as rainfall goes. But uh, we picked up a couple inches last night. Some of us still seeing some of that rain. Metropolis still pretty misty. They're seeing some light rain across the region. Uh, a bit calmer at least in Carbondale, Poplar Bluff and Sparta, but those clouds pretty much going to be staying with us throughout the next couple of hours into the afternoon and evening. Radar right now, the bulk of it at least is now off to the east. We're still tracking some light showers extending from parts of southern Illinois into parts of Tennessee and western Kentucky. So not seeing any lightning returns. This should be a lot more quiet than what we were hearing last night. And of course, not seeing anything severe either. So that is all some good news. That front still stalling over us. We've got the low pressure to our south. A lot of cloud cover involved with this, so the clouds are going to be staying with us even after that rain continues to move out of the way. Huge temperature difference thanks to that cold front. Off behind it in Omaha, they're seeing those low 40s. Out ahead of that front, especially on the eastern side of the Appalachian Mountains there, we're seeing much warmer temperatures. Charlotte in the mid-70s, even Nashville in those mid-70s. And we're just somewhere kind of in between the two right now in the 50s. Really not warming up much more than this. Paducah seeing 51 right now. Mount Vernon 52. Sparta in those mid-50s along with Frederick Town and Cape Girardeau. Overall, it's going to be a pretty cool day, especially compared to the 80s we were seeing just recently. Today, soggy and cooler conditions are expected for our Saturday. Good news is at least we're dry, but still pretty breezy. And then Sunday and Monday, it really gets chilly in the morning. We're seeing wind chills down into the lower 30s, and we're also seeing the possibility of some widespread frost. As far as conditions are right now, just watching that rain pretty much leave the area. Still some light isolated showers are possible. May even see a little bit of rain clipping parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. So Murray may be adding to that total we were seeing earlier. By 9 o'clock, the bulk of it should pretty much be out of here. And then midnight, still tracking a few isolated showers. But a much drier Sunday, or I should say Saturday, is expected. Uh, those clouds also pushing out of here. So some sunshine even expected to start our day. The next round of clouds kind of move in by the afternoon and evening. Again, temperatures just really having a hard time getting out of the 50s. Few of us may be seeing 60 degrees, and that's pretty much it for our weekend. We're going to be cooler. We're going to be cloudy, so you know a lot of problems are happening. Really not too bad as far as that goes. It's not going to be sunny and warm, but at least it shouldn't be pouring down rain. So at least that is at least some more good news. But just tracking those cooler conditions, we have highs only climbing into the mid 50s on both days. Breezy conditions really expected for both, but keeping an eye on Sunday as far as that morning frost chance goes. So really important to have Storm Track 3 up. I know a lot of us have already begun planting stuff. Here's a look at our lows for the next couple of mornings. 34 Sunday and Monday. So those are definitely both the days to watch as far as that frost chance goes. Tracking a few showers here and there uh, the rest of the day, but again, nothing too severe. Some lightning early this morning, but uh, that's pretty much moved out of here. For the weekend, it is much calmer and dry, which is great. We really need the dry time, and it's just going to be pretty chilly. A little warmer next week, but still, we cannot get back out of the 60s. Well, I know all the people who already started, you know, their gardens and everything mm -hmm. like that are probably looking at that AM frost and yep. thinking, I better cover those up. So Definitely. All right, well, thanks so much, Katie. Thanks.